Hi everyone, it's Daniela and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing awesome. Oh my heck, it is just crazyville here. My husband's been home. And then, God love him, he's so, he's so good, but he starts projects and then leaves them. Finally got my bookcases and something had to be moved in here and then blah and blah and blah and blah. And the bookcases have been, first they were in boxes as I told you, and now the bookcases and the new drawers um, are all put together and standing in my living room. And the bookcases are almost, they're like a matter of a couple feet away from the front door. What are you doing? We can't have that, but we do. We have that. And uh, yeah, so things are moving. I just feel like they're moving in circles, round and round and round. I keep hoping that this will be completely finished in a month, but I keep saying that every month. So fingers crossed. Anyway, that's why, why I've been missing so, I want to tell you about hashtag no paper left behind and what I finished and accomplished this month, making a mess already. If you don't know what hashtag no paper left behind is, I have, if you go to my playlist, I have a playlist that's called, what is a video in a playlist, no paper hashtag no paper left behind video, what is hashtag no paper left behind and it's simple as terms. It is something I came up with because I was sick of having half used pads. I like to call them skeleton pads. I picked all my favorites and left all the other ones behind. So I challenged myself to use every single piece. That's it, use it all. And I've been doing it for over a year and I don't always complete it. I mean, <laughs> life happens and whatever, but you know, I kind of hold myself to it. And at least I always know I, I tried. And I will also say that I have um, succeeded far more than I failed. And it really opens your mind up to all new possibilities. So if you want to join, please, Tell me in the comments and I'll add you to the link list I have in my description box. Or you can email me or that my email is in the description. And um, also, if your name is on my link list, go to my show more description. If you are playing along this month, just tell me in the comments. I'm still in or yes or whatever you want and if you're not I doesn't matter I understand so much is going on right now but just tell me so I know what I make sure everybody is counted you know make sure everybody make sure I have my head on straight because as you know I, I haven't had a moment to oh I just can't I have a thousand ideas for a billion videos and I'm making one so far this week it's just too hectic the world is very crazy right now so that's that part I succeeded in finishing what I wanted to finish I'm very excited about that and I'm gonna give all of this away if you want to win what I'm about to show you Say something in the description so I know to include you in the giveaway. If you don't want to, you could say something about that. I don't know. I don't want to just, I don't want to say here's a special word or whatever. Just say something so this way I know. <laughs> and in my next hashtag no paper left behind video, my progress report, I will pick a winner and send this out to you. Um... I sent out um, my last giveaway winner that's out in the mail so 
that's good. So I'm on top of it. Um, yay. I hope that somebody wants some pretty handmade goodies. So remember this, I thought I had the, here it is, the Anna Griffin Make Four Cards birthday. Mine only had three, which I thought was hysterical. So I used the pieces they gave, but I added my own bows and bling and pearls because it's just not complete without that, in my opinion. And then the envelopes are even lined and you get to write your name here, handmade by whoever wins, handmade by winner. Thank you. So we have that one. We have this one. So pretty. Nice big bow. And this one I popped up. This whole thing is one piece. I popped it up on some foam pads and a bow and bling. Bling, bling, bling. So here they are, the remaining pieces of my paper. I almost ran out of paper at the end. So that's why some of my tags, you'll see. I sent a few of these off in a, a package to someone. Um, so that these are the ones that will be given away with the cards. So I made three of the taller ones and they are uh, four and a half by two and a half. And I flipped over part of it and punched it so that it's like that and I added a bow and back is plain. And the last tags I gave away too, ta the pockets, pockets, if I, I hope I'm saying the right thing. If not, I hope you know what I mean. Okay. The last pockets with tags that I gave away, I used the paper as the tag and I punched it on the top best as I could. Scraps of paper are uneven. And okay, so I did the same here on all of these tags and pockets. So pretty. You guys. And then I made the small ones. So here's where things started to get cuckoo. This is a really little one and it was a scrap. I don't even know. I don't even know. This one is about two and a quarter by two and three quarters. He's really little. And um, there's this tag. Now these are about the size I was making them which is the same width, but it's by almost three and a quarter. And um, I like my tags to be about this big, like coming up three quarters of the way. And that's great. And then we have this one. Nice. But then we start having these guys. <laughs> Look how short this tag is because I was running out of paper and I was like, oh no, I have to have enough to finish. This one's okay. And then this one is okay so they're all different as far as the tag sizes but there are three of those one two three four five six i felt like there were seven did i lose one one two three four five six nope six seven eight nine so you can win nine pockets with tags and three happy birthday cards. If you want to win, let me know. And I told you when I'll draw a winner. So for this month's hashtag no paper left behind, I think I bought this um, peachy cheap. Sometimes they have these, they always have like a bundle kind of thing, but sometimes these bundles are like really inexpensive and I think they have a lot and they're very cheap. So not always. Some of their stuff is not that cheap. It's from Simple Stories. It's Simple Vintage Botanicals. And it's double-sided paper. 
it's a good day for a good day. Look at those flowers. Double sided. Love the my dictionary paper. Butterflies. Look at those. Oh, I love that. Hello. Flowers. More collage like stuff. Birds. That is so nice. I love how it's distressed in the middle of the writing. Sometimes happiness is a feeling. Sometimes it's a blessing. Nope. It's a decision. <laughs> I was reading it sideways. It looked like a B, but it was a D. Okay, yeah. Sometimes happiness really is just where your mind is. And clearly mind is just in cloud cuckoo land. So yeah. my decision was a blessing and so is my happiness. So there we go. Got some diagonal. Uh, these are like, to me, it looks like color swatches. It's all distressed. I love it. Live your best life. I read it sideways. Thank you. All right. Uh huh. And that I love. Love. And then there's some journaling cards. Two of them. And back to the beginning. So there are 24 pages, double sided. Uh, 24 double-sided sheets, including four designer prints, right? That's the big ones. Okay. And two three by four greeting card element sheets. I guess that's included. I was just wondering if it was an extra two pages. I don't care. That's fine. And I have all of these stickers. And if you know me, I am not a big fan of the stickers. So I'm going to have to think of some pretty interesting ideas to use all of these. These are one, is two, eight four by six sheets. What? 219 stickers. What? Okay. Challenge accepted. And we have some beautiful bits and pieces. There are tickets and postcards and of course flowers and butterflies and so pretty so that's cool and then these which don't have anything to do with this collection so I guess they just threw these cocoa vanilla enamel dots hello lovely and they do they seem they'll match perfectly so that's what I'm using for this month, this is what I did last month, and I completed it. Yay! And let me know if you want to win. Let me know if you are playing along, if you're not playing along, whatever. Just let me know about that so I get my link list straight. I have been bad. I haven't. I'm so sorry. I haven't been around to everybody. So, um... That's it. I hope you've all been well and you're all staying safe and you're all doing what's right for you. And always know that you are awesome and I'm always thinking about you. So please be well and I'll see you in the next video. Stay awesome, everyone. Bye.